Hello, this is Itsu again. Okay, uh, some final testing. I guess um, I put my uh, function generator to work. I put it in a square wave. And I have uh, the signal set to uh, at the moment 122.7 kilohertz. And I feed it to this uh, this single turn loop here on the back of the boat coils. So it's loosely coupled to both the main coil and the uh, the inner coil. Uh, all the coils are connected to the circuit, but the circuit is not activated, so I have no power on the uh, Mozilla. Same with the inner coil; it is connected to. Uh, Everything, the load, the full uh, wave bridge rectifier, and uh, also the probe. So I'm now uh, monitoring both the resonance point of the LC, the inner, with the yellow probe, and I monitor the uh, resonance of the uh, main core with the blue probe. And we can see that uh, at the moment with this 122 uh, signal, uh, kilohertz signal I still have the, the, the 100 nanofarad cap there. So if we uh, move it a little bit you can see that it uh, decreases in signal strength and also here. So we have here I put in a square wave and you can see we have a sine wave so this is a clear indication that we are at resonance point of this smaller coil, sorry of the main coil, the coil with the 10 turns. So if I peak it, it should be something like here, this is really the maximum peak of the signal and we can see the signal is 122. 0.8 kilohertz. If I now only decrease the function generated signal to see what resonance point we have on the uh, inner coil, the yellow trace, we are at uh, 80, 60 kilohertz, and now we had a peak again. change it's triggering on the yellow signal fine tuning for the maximum which should be here somewhere and we can see that the signal put in is square wave 40.9 kilohertz and this is the maximum And uh, if we divide it 122 point, what was it, 8 divided by 3, we see that we uh, are at uh, 40.9. So both the main coil and the uh, inner coil are tuned to a third harmonic. Uh, this is what I expect what was seeing in the in the, the video and uh, which I now have created the one two three relationship between the inner and the outer coil. So I will now uh, <coughs> hook up the power to see uh, what kind of power will have in this uh, bulb if any. Ok, power is on. I have uh, 24 volts and uh, 300 something uh, milliamps running. Uh, we have no lights in the bulb like the other video. Uh, I am monitoring only the, uh, the voltage across the main coil with the blue, co with the blue probe. The yellow probe is uh, lying loose here so it's picking out something. So we have a signal of 115 or something kilohertz. 
and uh, probably because of uh, the cap is uh, running hot yes it does it is changing the frequency slowly because I guess the capacitance is uh, is changed by this heating up but we can see that we uh, started at uh, the 120 uh, kilohertz which was in resonance before and uh, I will now disconnect the blue probe and connect the uh, probe here on the secondary before the bridge rectifier so we have the raw voltage there We can see we have the same 114 kilohertz, but we have a very low voltage RMS 6.4 volts RMS only there. So even though we are running at a 1 to 3 relationship of the coils and uh, there is no no signal on the lower frequency, the 40 or, or 37 kilohertz, whatever frequency, even though they though they are perfectly tuned. So um, and, and this also confirms to me that uh, the original clip did not have uh, this 113 uh, kilohertz running in the main coil in the Mozilla circuit. Thanks for watching.